We are live this morning at Lambert Field. Residents get their first chance to speak out on the proposed airport expansion. More on that story in our next half hour. Right now we have 61 degrees at 641. When it comes to St. Louis radio, one station stands out as a pioneer. WEW, St. Louis's first radio station, established here 75 years ago. Boy, time has flown, hasn't it? In fact, it is the, it's second in age only to KDKA in Pittsburgh. Uh, what a proud pass for WEW. It's still going strong today, although the new broadcasting studio may surprise you. It's the subject of this morning's Obelo at Large. <laughs> Keep all your radios tuned right here to the first voice in St. Louis, 77 WEW. For our town's premier radio station, you'd expect them to be coming from fancy chrome-lined offices in a suburb like Clayton. Uh, wrong. They are now broadcasting from the kitchen of this two-family flat on Hampton near Southwest. And don't say you gotta be kidding, because we're not. This was the uh, living room here, I guess, huh? Yeah, the living room, mm -hmm. and uh, we got some plants here. We added some oh, plants. Boy, you've spruced it up here. Been here a month and a half yeah. now. Yeah, two-family flat, huh? Two-family flat. This must have been the bedroom. Evidently. The station used to be owned by the Broadcast Center and did indeed broadcast from a Clayton studio. But a month and a half ago, a wealthy Texan named Gary Aker bought the facility and moved it to this two-family flat. Oh, here's the bathroom. Oh, yeah. We got the shower curtain up and everything in there. And, Brand new shower curtains. Oh, that's great. And the studio is actually in the kitchen. There's no soundproofing here or anything. No, we, uh, we kind of like the fact that it's, uh, you know, we can hear the sirens go by and uh, people walk in. We don't have a door either. The kitchen studio overlooks an ordinary South St. Louis backyard. They've installed one plant here, too, to spruce it up a little. Who cuts and, the grass? Uh, I do. What I had to do when I was mowing the grass, I had to shut the window, though. A little distracting for the announcers. As you would imagine, space is at a premium in a kitchen. So you mean to be interviewed, you go on the other yeah. side of this? Yes, go ahead, John. You mean you walk over here? Yeah, now and be speak? careful now. Be careful with the gas pipe coming out of the wall. What's this? That's, that's, well, that's, a, a, wire, that's right? a loose wire. I had a caller call in. She said, I've been listening to this station for years. She said, that address you just gave, I used to live there in, like, 1959, 1960. By the way, the call letters for WEW were selected way back then because the folks who started up the station liked the phrase, we enlighten the world. And as everybody knows, nothing is often more enlightening than having a good time sitting around the old kitchen table. So after 75 years, WEW has finally achieved its potential, and that's all at large for this morning. They serve up any good food along with that good music? They'll, give, they'll make you a sandwich. You were thinking of having a little window at the side where they can give out <laughs> food, too. It could be a radio and fast food place uh, all at once. Interesting story. Mm -hmm. 61 degrees at 643 just ahead. Kathleen has...